Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, RJ back with another video. Uh, please subscribe to me. That is at, uh, YouTube forward slash XRJX720. That is my channel. So if you can, uh, hit me with a subscription. Uh, but anyways, let's get into this video. Yesterday, I uh, I put up a video of me unboxing SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. It, I got hammered with a lot of questions. And in this video, what I'm going to try to do is answer as many questions as I can while showing, you know, gameplay and etc, etc. So let's go ahead and get into it. for this to load when uh, you put the game in when you have the online access code you get Chris Masters uh, alternate Kelly Kelly and an alternate Rey Mysterio which has like skulls and stuff on it which I showed in a previous video and uh, I'm going to try to show you all the, the roster as people are requesting but first I'm going to go into the online because a lot of people were asking me what is on the online you know what can you do what kind of matches can you do and I'm going to show you what kind of rank matches you can do and uh, you know give my opinion on what should have been in the game All right, let's get started here All right, the menu you do hear themes that are, including also that the soundtrack you know have something to do with wrestling themes some other stuff from pay-per-views etc one thing I, uh, I kind of wish they had this year you can't switch the theme at least not that I know of you can't switch it last year, you hit the analog stuff, the analog stick down, you switch the theme. You can't do that this year. Also, uh, this year's the the controls will be a little frustrating at first. There is a learning curve to the controls. Uh, but once you get them down, it's, it's, you know, it's nothing to it after a while. I've been playing, I've had about 12 hours of gameplay so far. And the controls are just second, you know, second nature to me now. It's just, it's just fine now. But when the game first came out, it was frustrating. Like uh, the left, the right analog stick up picks people up now, and uh, the left trigger drags as such. But also, when you pick them up, uh, the left analog stick also helps help as you hold them, and you can set them up for different moves, such as you know, in that way as well. Which at first will be frustrating, but there's so many things you can do. One thing I really love the fact that you can do is you have you can manually do anything you want to in the turnbuckle. You can pick them up, you can have them just sit there, you can. You could do crazy moves off the rope with them and stuff. Such as I have a finisher where you do a last, uh, uh, last drug, sorry, I almost call it last drug. A razor's edge off the top, which, which is really sick. And the momentum bar goes up about the same as last year. Like I said, there's going to be a little learning curve for everybody. But let's go ahead and get into the online stuff. Uh, the menus, the wallpaper actually changes every now and then this time. Like right now you see the Miz, I have the Undertaker, you see Triple H. Etc. Etc. Uh, let's go ahead and see here. Xbox Live. The Online Royal Rumble is very fun. I got, I, I got to play uh, one last night. It's it's very fun. Not really. There was no lag, but then again, I was only doing a six mix, and there's not a lot of people on right now. But yeah, you go right here for the Royal Rumble. You play ranked your player. You know, and you're scoring it. It's a quick game. And you see, probably no one, see nobody's on right now. So I can't really get one right now. But yeah, this ranked player Royal Rumbles right there. Match types. All right, we got. Let's see here. We'll create match. Okay, you got one on ones, two on twos, three man, four man, five man, and six man. The one on one match you can have is like normal tag match. You can have ladder match. Uh, you know, extreme rules match. They have other things too. If you see here, like ladder match can be a TLC or a ladder. Be Inferno match, False Count Anywhere match, Iron Man match, Last Man Standing match, Submission match, Table match, Extreme Rules match. In cage match, you can have a Cell match, a Steel Cage match, or you can have a Steel Cage which includes 10 and give up. Uh, backstage matches, Parking Lot Brawl, GM Office, Locker Room A, Locker Room B, Large, rock, uh, large Locker Room, Interview Area. I mean, there, there's a lot of different things you do one on one. Two on two. You got normal tag team matches, which you know include two guys. A normal tag, tornado tag, false count anywhere, cell, 
ladder, steel cage, table, tornado tag, L TLC, tornado tag, stream, I'm sorry, elimination, normal tag, elimination tag, tornado, uh, elimination table, tornado tag, and then there's, a, there's extreme uh, rules match, tornado tag. So I mean, there's a lot of two on two matches you can do online. Uh, mixed tag, you just got the standard mixed tag you can do. Uh, three man matches, you can do triple threat match, ladder matches, TLC matches, uh, cage matches, cell matches, you know, the same stuff. Extreme rules, both can anywhere. Handicap matches, you can do normal with manager, two man, one on tag. And you can do false can anywhere with manager. Four man matches, you can do fatal four way, normal fatal four way, ladder fatal four way, TLC, cage matches, steel cage uh, fatal four way, extreme rules, handicap one on three, one on trio, one on one with two managers, which is really nice. Uh, battle royal, you can do regular, you know, pin or over the top rope four man. Five man, now here's where the new stuff comes in. Five man, you've got normal tag with no manager versus uh, tag with manager. Basically, it's two on two, but one team has a manager, so it's kind of you know it's a handicap kind of thing. Then you also got handicap two on trio, which which is really nice, where you know you and one partner take on three guys, which is pretty neat. You got championship scramble, which is which is very fun to play, very fun to play. Uh, six man tag, including. Uh, six man tornado tag, six man elimination tag, six man normal tag, cage matches, you know, the six man Armageddon cage match, uh, Bunny in the Bank, handicap matches, you can do tag on, uh, tag uh, with manager versus without manager, like I said, or you can do a match where both of you have two people are legal and then you have one manager on each team. You got elimination chamber normal and then you got elimination chamber tornado tag. You got Battle Royal, six man Battle Royal, six man uh, over the top rope Battle Royal, as well as you know the pinfall kind. So there's a, oh, as you see, there's a lot of new match types this year. One thing I wish they added personally, because I just love playing it back way back in 07, was special ref, but they didn't add it this year, and I mean it's not a big ref, which is something I would have personally liked to have. Uh, the ranking system, as you see, there's a rising star, superstar, champion, a legend, like last year. And let's go ahead and go to the leaderboards real quick so I can show you. Uh, Alright. As you see on the leaderboards, they, uh, they have this thing which is like a badge kind of concept. Where you see, like for example, there's me right here. I have the yellow flames in the background. They have uh, stars, flames, you see like the DX kind of thing. And you can change it to any color you want and that just shows that you bought the, the fan access. and. It's just a little feature they have. And plus, you can also put a little picture, like you see, I have John Cena on my picture. This guy up here has Batista, and I mean, you can add a little things. It's not nothing big, but it's just a new addition to this year's game on the leaderboards and stuff. Uh, community creations. You can create signs. You can trade signs. Uh, you can set it so people can't change the moves on the character, or you can let people change it. So it la it's, you can have it like last year where you download something you can't change it. If you download where a guy says no, you can't change my moves. But for the most part, you can change from any moves on anybody. Uh, less the less, of course, they put that setting in the thing. The WWE Shop is on the, the online marketplace right here. Uh, I already downloaded this stuff. You get, you have like the, there's the alternate Rey Mysterio. You get when this stuff you get uh, when you put in your online access code. You get uh, the online, you get Rey Mysterio, you get Chris Masters, you get the alternate Kelly Kelly. Uh, if you want to buy the fan access, which is what I bought, you get uh, you get unlockable. You unlock everything from the start. You don't gotta do anything. You get uh, you know you get customized superstars attributes, and you unlock the Ministry Taker, which I downloaded. But let's get back to the single player real quick and I'm going to show you a few other things. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, the Duty Universe mode is very fun. Uh, it's random things happen. You can go into this. You can go play now and it's still WWE Universe mode. You can do a one-on-one -on -one match. And and you, and you in the middle of the match, I'll know where you'll just have random things happen. You have no control over it. I mean, of course, you can turn the setting off where not you just a standard match where where nothing that comes in play or nothing, but I prefer to have it because it just keeps things interesting. But on the roster, you got alternate outfits for Batista and stuff like that. Like you have the civilian clothes Batista, then you got the original. Uh, let's see who else. I don't think Big Show's got one. 
Chavo, Chavo doesn't have one either. Uh, Chris Jericho I know has alternates. He's got the civilian clothes like last year and he's got the regular. CM Punk with this t-shirt that they have the regular. Uh, they got the they got the guys coming with the Undertaker. There's 55 overall, so I don't really suggest using them. But they do have a crazy arena where every person in the crowd is one of these guys, and they make that oh sound. And it's very crazy. Uh, Edge has the alternate, which you know the Conquistadors with Christian, and he also has the Edge and Christian T-shirt attire. Let's see who else? Um, Cena's got you know just this regular, and then he's got his his gear right here. You know, street clothes that he comes out with and stuff. But, see, John Morrison. John Morrison don't have an alternate this year. Sheamus don't have an alternate. Shawn Michaels does not have an alternate yet, but there is DLC coming out for him. Chad Gaspar, the same thing, DLC. Uh, Santino. We got R Truth, The Rock. Uh, RVD, which I was very excited to see RVDs in the game. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Rey Mysterio, who has a lot of alternates, such as the one I told you about you download. Uh, you got civilian clothes. You got the evil one, which I like, which is half and half, when you turn heel in the story mode, which is up to you. I don't want to ruin the story mode for you. Uh, Randy Orton, you got the t-shirt, which I like. Uh, the suit. Uh, a referee, just like last year, and you got the original. Primo, MVP, Vince McMahon, who has the suit this year as well, and the wrestling gear. No chicken head this year, though. Uh, the Miz, Mike Knox, Ed Matt Hardy, Mark Henry, Luke Gallows, Kofi Kingston, and you got Kane, which has the alternate, but I wish they had the Kane where you have the one arm, you know, without the sleeves, like he did back in 98. I don't like how they did that, but regardless, we got Mass Kane, so we can't complain too much. Got JTG, got my created character, which I made, it was 100 overall. Uh, you, you can make him 100 overall in, in like two seconds if you want to this year. They gotta go through and, you know, do everything on it. You got, uh, Trump Benjamin. You got Stone Cold, who does not have an alternate attire either. Million Dollar Man Son, Ted DiBiase, Terry Funk, Triple H who has a really cool alternate attire. He has a bandage which you'll find out why in story mode. Uh, I mean, Will Bruce Man, he got civilian clothes which I really like that Triple H right there. Uh, you got Tyson Kidd, you got K Undertaker where he has the Ministry of Darkness attire but he comes out to the same music. He doesn't have the Ministry of Music. I, it's, it's not a huge complaint but I just I mean, I'm, I'm just playing a little bit since it's a gripe, in my opinion. I don't see how... I mean, they got Biker Ticker coming out in, like, January or something in pack, DLC Pack 3. Is Biker Ticker going to come out to the regular music he has now? Because that just looks stupid, you know? I mean, I hope they they uh, smarten up and put the new music in for Biker Ticker. You got Vance Archer, which is a waste of time being in the game. Uh, Vladimir Kozlov, William Regal, Yoshi Tatsu, which I don't think anyone's going to be playing with online. Uh, Zack Ryder, uh, then you got the uh, Divas on here as you see. You see they put a lot of them in this year. That was all from there. Uh, downloadable characters is right there in the corner where you get your downloadable characters to download. And uh, Chris Masters is the only one right now. There'll be others out very shortly. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and run a match real quick. Let's see, who should I be? Let's see. Andy Orton with the t shirt. Sorry guys, my uh, the video is almost 15 minutes long now. I'll, I'll make a part two with this video. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, let me know. I'll try to get to the rest of them. Remember, uh, RJX720. Uh, subscribe, guys. Thanks.